Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147. And I am caught up on my Heaven and Earth design. I've just noticed some that are popping. Uh, these have been pushed down with a rolly giggy thing, but occasionally in the dark sections I do end up with some popping. But that's the joy of using my spares. Who knows where they came from? Um, so, yes, crazy is, is what I consider my life to be at the moment. Little bits all over the show. So I do apologise for not having videos up on Monday and Tuesday. I'm just going to draw my grid lines while we're chatting. These are never the straightest lines ever, but I do find they are extremely helpful. Sometimes I draw the whole row on in advance and sometimes, like now, I draw them on per section as I uncover each section. So I did get to catch up on my Heaven and Earth design eventually. I think I ended up about six days behind. I did three sections in one day to catch up and then three sections the next day, which got me fully, fully caught up. Um, so I am filming this on Thursday. Uh, so I'm doing my Thursday section. I do feel like, I think I have, is it five or six? How many sections do I have per? So I have five sections per strip. So after this, I have 10 days left, but we're on the 25th of August. So I am going to have to try and get some more done to be able to get to 50%. Uh, but I have run out of a colour, so I'm not sure how, how far in advance I want to do. I am only missing, I think, three here and six here. So I may get away with doing another strip, but I don't really want to do too much while missing a colour because putting that colour back in can be a bit of a nightmare. If I run out of another colour, it'll be a definite no. Um, but I might try and get the next one done. And there's a part reason for that. I have noticed when doing some of these blues here that I have one or two colours that will be completely done in this sort of section, in these first two. So it makes me want to do it so that I can have more colours completed. Um, so I might do this strip and then see if I can get hold of some 3712, then I'll be able to carry on. If I can't, then I may have to stop here and move on to my other one. Who knows, but it is definitely progressed a lot more than it ever has done before. Um, I do want to say a thank you to Anika's Crafts. I did receive a little goodie parcel. So I do have loads of diamonds here that she sent me. Um, I think she said uh, these are ones that I mentioned in the video. I'm not sure which video. It may have been the one where I was getting them ready for my mum but she sent me loads and um, so I can top those up later and she also sent me this which is absolutely gorgeous so this is a book that she's made you can see that it's bound it's like three separate books bound but look at this she said she said mentioned something about using it as a journal photo album or just to doodle in I need to think before I use this because this is absolutely amazing. Um, there is all sorts of little pockets with little tabs um, and there's lines available in everything. But yeah, there's all sorts of little bits in there. So I need to think a bit before I decide what to use this gorgeous book for. Um, so thank you ever so much, Anika. That is absolutely gorgeous. Um, so yeah, not only diamonds, but an absolutely gorgeous book. It does need some thought though, before I do anything. So I'm gonna use a zesty pink tray. 
I'm going to use, of course, my Pattern Keeper on my app. So for anybody that doesn't know what I'm doing, because it does always come up, um, I'm doing the Super Size Little Dreamers Tree Max Colours chart from Heaven and Earth Design. Um, the design itself or the image itself is by Amy Stewart. It did have 239 colours, though I have finished some colours. I'm down here if you can see. So this does have a little hut and that is this hut that I'm currently in the middle of um, and it is 40 centimetres by 250. So I'm not quite at the halfway point yet but I am getting there. It does have an arrow to tell me where is halfway. Um, but yeah, I'm primarily using spare diamonds. I have purchased a couple of diamonds for it. Um, and I have been sent quite a few um, by lovely people. Okay, where am I going to put... <laughs> that's an idea. Where am I going to put the batch of diamonds that I'm working on at the moment? All my cases are currently on the floor. I have... Um, four different 60 bottle cases for this one so let's see how we can in fact I need to move this over more this is how disorganized I am at the moment um, my brother and his wife and their children actually arrive in the UK this evening um, they've come for a visit to see friends and of course family which would be me and my lot um so yeah at the moment today is designated for straightening up the house and um, they're not actually staying with us they have um like rented a house while they're here or an apartment whichever depends which areas they're in but they have rented somewhere to stay because you know with young kids it's worth getting a little bit of a, a routine and a space where they can wind down especially with so much going on um but yeah they do arrive this evening so we'll be picking them up from the airport later on so the bulk of today is just a, a straightening of the house I mean it's not you know it, it's one of those do you ever find in your house that every now and then like things just get a bit cluttered um, with just bits that haven't quite been put away properly uh, and just finding the time to sort of get those bits finally finish with. I tend to do that at the weekend more often than not at the moment. Um, yeah and I'll go through and anything that you know there'll be sometimes it'll just be stock that's coming needs putting away or the boxes need putting in the bin that sort of thing. So we're doing we're doing that partly today. I'm trying not to do uh, I will be doing shop items later, uh, but I'm trying not to do them until I've got the house straight. I mean, they don't arrive until this evening, so I do have plenty of time, but I can get so easily distracted with shop items. I started sorting out some things for the advent calendar yesterday, and I think it must have been eight o'clock, half eight, before I stopped. Thoroughly enjoying myself, I was um so yeah things are very very busy at the moment just had a load of deliveries this morning um replenishing stock items that are low things like cardstock which of course need something doing before they're ready to go up in the shop so yeah I feel like I've just increased my workload with the orders that have arrived but we do have some more cover paper holders have arrived. We need to get those finalised because I think pink was out of stock. We have brought baby blue back as well, or pale blue. 
um, so they need preparing so that they can go in the shop yeah it's just it's just crazy busy trying to plan for um, the big launch items in October trying to make sure that they get ready so hopefully we will be able to release more details on the advent calendar soon so that people can prepare um, we think we have finalised pricing and things. We just um, want to double check a few things before we can announce the pricing. So hopefully that will come soon because I know there are some people that are worried about things arriving in time. Um, so yeah, we're, we're working as hard as we can to get all of those things finalised but it is amazing how quick the day goes it really does um, the printer problems didn't help I'm sick of talking about them you guys are probably sick of hearing them um, but they are now resolved they did exchange the printer uh, it took they exchanged it on the Thursday morning um, so all day Thursday after taking my daughter for her A-level results, uh, which she got more than what she wanted and she got into her uni um, that she wants to go to. So that's awesome. Uh, yeah, so after taking her for her results, oh, how long did it? Four days, I think. Four or five days it took. Um, I did work all weekend. I was going to take the days back, but then I've been too excited doing advent calendar. So it's all good. If you, if you do a job that you love doing, then you don't mind keeping going. Um, but it does mean that YouTube has suffered. So normally I try and I'm trying to film through the week for YouTube, but I, I can always film at the weekend if, you know, all else fails um, and get my videos lined up for the week but orders did need to take priority this week which means I have had no videos prepared in fact I had one the unboxing yesterday um, was a video that I did last week um, just so that I could put the time and painting away uh, and yeah I have I have no videos prepared, even now, today. Um, I think I have one on the other channel prepared, another unboxing for August, but apart from that, I have nothing. So if my videos are a bit, a bit hit and miss, that is why. Um, I do think that I am gonna be going to upload more four or five times a week on this channel. That was my aim when I started up the second channel was to put less, a little bit less on here, not hugely, but just a little bit. Um, and I just ended up with too many videos that I wanted to do. But I do find that on occasion, I'm not sure what video to do. Not all the time, but some weeks, it depends how much diamond painting I've had time to do. So, yeah, if you do find that there are days without a video, then just stay tuned. There will be videos coming. You can play catch up or maybe watch some older ones um, if you're new to the channel. And yeah, they'll just four or five times a week is what I'm going to be aiming for. It just may be a little bit hit and miss this week. I'm not sure what days um, we are with my brother and his children and his wife, of course. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what days we are with them and what days we aren't. So yeah, it is very, very busy in this household. Extremely busy at the moment. Um, Megan actually goes back to school soon. She started doing some stuff ready for going back to school. She's also trying to focus hugely on her dissertation uh, for her master's that she wants to get done. In fact, that's what she is currently doing as I'm filming this. She has got herself holed up in a room. Um, 
of trying to, you know, break the back of her dissertation so that she can feel better going back to school full time after having six weeks where she's still been working believe me with with the with the shop and stuff and you know catching up with friends she's had an extremely busy summer holidays but then trying to fit all of that in with a full-time job as well yeah I'm expecting a few very tired weeks from our poor Megan when she goes back to school but she hasn't stopped she has not stopped so yeah very very busy house happy house but busy house so do bear with us while I get things back on to more of an even keel um, October is always a busy launch month for us we actually do have a, a caravan holiday booked as well in September um, in Cornwall. So we've got the caravan booked for two weeks, but I think I think me and Hubby are just going to go for one week. Um, but we will put details up on the website if any orders are going to be delayed. Because, yeah, that's our... Our little break for the summer, we're just doing it slightly after summer and hoping that the weather's still nice. Time will tell, I guess. So yeah, how how are you how are you guys? Is it is it absolutely crazy where you are? Or have you just maybe got over a week of crazy um, and you settle in more back into a routine? Whatever it is, do let us know. We will get out the other side if you're crazy busy. Things do tend to settle down. They just can take a minute to do so. Uh, we're dividing and conquering today. So Megan has, well, there's a few of them at work. There's, there's three of the household at work, but um, Catherine is currently off because she has just done her A-levels um, and she is not, she's now in uni in September. So I have her mopping floors and tidying up the hall, which is always, it's always where things get dumped. So empty boxes and stuff all get dumped in the hall, uh, ready for sorting out later. And a lot of the time they do go out the, out the house, but we've had so many deliveries recently that every time I clear the hallway, uh, there seems to be more. There's also, of course, the usual stuff that needs to go up to bedrooms. So she's sorting that. Uh, Megan is doing her dissertation and she has Luna. Uh, Luna has just been for a walk. She went for a walk with Megan, which was Megan's sort of refresh time um, took her out for a walk you know get the blood flowing ready for her to do a dissertation so she's currently with Megan uh, in her crate in our bedroom having a nap that's what she's supposed to be doing is having a nap because sometimes she does need to be forced to have a nap which is the benefits well benefits downfalls of puppies Sometimes you can tell when she gets just too excited and too giddy and she's loved having a walk and all the rest of it and all the people that are all moving. And yes, yeah, she just needs a kick. So she's currently in with Megan having a nap. And Megan is using our bedroom as a space to work. But yeah. Okay, enough waffling on about my crazy life before I get into the fact of talking my to-do list to you for the rest of the day, which keeps running round in my head. I know nothing will take as long as I'm expecting, um, and Catherine's doing a lot of the prep work, so I can just do a straight clean and hoover through if she's not done it already. Um, 
and then hopefully then I can sit down and get some shop things done um, and get some things you know sorted out but knowing that the house is clean tidy and all the rubbish is in the recycling bin our recycling bins love our boxes they really do um okay amy she says oh she says she's sorry that she hasn't put any comments on um she says she's been away and then she was busy so there's somebody else who was busy um she says and she's now in hospital oh dear she says she wants to diamond paint but she can't oh i'm sorry that you can't i really am um I think I, you know, it's, I'm guessing whatever it is that you were in hospital for means you can't diamond paint. Um, or maybe you just don't have your goodies. Um, but I hope you get better soon and then you can get back to diamond painting. That is the one thing I missed last night. Um, though I was thoroughly enjoying myself packing, packing things and preparing things for Advent. Um, but... Yeah, I missed sitting down and doing my diamond painting because by the time I'd straightened up the mess I'd made and sorted out a few other bits around the house, uh, mainly getting our, getting the washing put away and our bedroom clean and tidy so that Mega could use it for study. Yeah, the evening had gone. It just disappeared. But back at it today. And I'm, get, I'm getting in a bit more diamond painting. I did do my heaven and earth design yesterday morning. So I did get to diamond paint. I just am so close to finishing Pegasso. Um, I'm on the top section. So if you know I use my cover papers to section it off. I have six in the top corner. When I get on the last row, I tend to do the two rows and do it that way. So do two sections and then two sections and then two sections rather than doing a whole row across, which is what I do when I start from the bottom. Uh, but when I get near the end, I like to do the, the top section in, in blocks of two. So I'm hoping I can get some of that done. My brother's flight doesn't land until about half past seven which would probably be the time we'd leave the house. The airport's about half an hour away, which gives them a chance to get through customs and get their baggage. Sort of, it sort of works out. That's when we leave is when they land. Um, and then of course it's half an hour back. So they're not gonna be, earliest they're gonna be with us is about half eight. And I reckon it's gonna be closer to nine o'clock. By the time they're here, and then it will depend on how how tired the boys are as to whether, you know, they they stay with us for a bit or whether they pretty much say hi, bye and <laughs> go and settle in and go to bed uh, where they're staying. <coughs> um, okay, what else have we got? Sue, she says, with reference to your printer saga, um, yes, saga is definitely the word. I'm just trying to see what I'd actually filled in then. Yes, I did do those two, but I didn't do this one. Uh, she said, with reference to your printer saga, she says she is one of those people that did order before launch. Uh, she says, so she did get an email explaining what had happened. She says, because I know you are so trustworthy, she says, I wasn't worried at all. Uh, she knew she'd get her order when the problems were sorted out. Uh, she says, waiting a few de days really isn't a big deal. And she said, today, which was Thursday, she said, her order has been posted. So all is well. She says, let's hope the printers behave themselves now. Yes, so first priority when the printers were back up was people that had ordered before launch because there was no banner on the site warning those poor people that there was going to be a delay because we didn't think it would be more than a day. We thought the engineer, you know, 
we didn't realise things would get broken while getting replaced. Um, so yeah, first priority was people that were not aware of it when ordering. And second priority was international orders, which I think Friday or Saturday, I think I managed to get all of those out. And then of course I ran out of everything, <laughs> everything otherwise, um, and had to replenish those over the weekend slash get all the UK orders out for Monday. So yeah, crazy, but it's all done. Everything is up to date. Orders are back to being done daily so that I'm able to get orders out um, and get, yeah, back to back to normal service resumes. Though I did run out of pink trays at one point for orders this weekend. But um, yeah, that's because I'm trying to prepare order trays, limited trays for upcoming months with us being away in September, albeit only for a week. Um, I do need to get in advance, get ahead of myself on trays that are coming up because October's a big month. Um, Diamond Sparkle, she says, you hoo, printers are fixed, now they better behave themselves. So far, ever since we had the exchange, everything has been working exactly as it should be. Oh, I had two of them. I'm not used to having the number seven. That's normally a symbol that I get to fly past. I'm not going to run out of it but hey a couple of them on the page is always good let's get those little blue ones in ah, that threw me a little spanner in the works okay next tray i need to find somewhere to store these oh, they're not they've just been living on my dining table at the moment but with my brother and the boys coming, I don't want them on the table tonight, just in case the boys want to play or do a jigsaw or something like that. They can do it at the table out of the way of Luna. So, um, the cat lady, she says she tends to use the zesty trays um, to do her paintings. Um, and the larger add more zest trays to kit up with, she says, to stop drills running away. Uh, she's been finding drills in the strangest places, she says, all over her house. Yes, I found the odd one on Luna's nose. Uh, but that'll teach us to go sniffing everywhere. Uh, she says she's checked her drills, but unfortunately... Um, it isn't a drill that she has. Well, thank you so much for checking. Um, it's not a drill that I've had extras of since either. The only thing I've not checked for 3712 is the box kits that I have. Um, so they're the kits that are boxed. Um, so the likes of Diamond Art Studio, Diamond Art Club, those types of ones. Um, I've not checked those. I did check Pegasso because I'm working on Pegasso and I knew I could have safely pinched a few from him because we always end up with extras. So I haven't checked my box ones. I may um, try and go through them though you know getting to the point of getting the canvas out without trashing all the diamonds in there as well. Um, can be a little bit entertaining to say the least but that's somewhere I do need to check and see if I have I'm pretty sure it's 3712 I know exactly where it is in the case uh, it's not in this one it's in I think it's in the next case um, oh 666 is the number that I de-kitted the other day so I did run out of another colour. I think it was when I was playing catch up. I did end up getting the last one of those done. And as I say, there are definitely some in this section over here. 
that are going to go is some blues I think so I'm very excited to be able to start thinking about getting rid of some more colours. The next big goal is to get a case down so that I've only got three cases instead of two. I just don't know whether that will happen before 50% or not. Time will tell. Um, Anne Smith, she says she's also one that doesn't want to do a heaven and earth design. And I've just forgotten which ones I've done. So I've just done that one. Um, she said she's also one that doesn't want to do one, she says, but that's because she currently cross stitches. She said or it may be because she currently cross stitches as well as diamond paints. So, yeah, I can imagine that would be a mix of the two hobbies, which may take the enjoyment that you get out of one over the other. The fact that you do both means that you get to experience the whole chart and stitching as well as, you know, the diamond painting. And I can imagine that the following the chart and the cross stitching, while you sit differently, you relax differently. Um, that already takes that mental brain space that the diamond painting with a canvas with it all detailed on doesn't. A new one had dropped. Get rid of that before I think it should be on the painting when it's not. Um, Tracy, she says she loves the extra midweek waffles. Yes, I am enjoying doing them, though they do take quite a bit of time. But I am enjoying adding the extra little waffle in there. Um because I'm doing my heaven and earth design anyway. And it only takes a little bit longer when I'm doing it on a waffle. The only thing that sort of can be a problem with doing the extra is somebody to watch Luna while I do it. So August has worked out in the fact that it is summer holidays. And, you know, I still have... Well, I have two daughters that follow that sort of timetable. One because she works in education and the other one because she's still in education. Um, she says she has Wednesday and Sunday off work. She says so they are perfectly timed. Um, she says, is this just for August? She says, or permanent fingers crossed uh, she says she loves the heaven and earth design and it's coming along great um i'm not sure whether it will be permanent or not i've not quite decided how to keep doing this slash you know keep doing the heaven and earth design into september um say so we do have we are away for a week in September, so it won't be easy to sort of pre-do waffles. I very much like whip and waffles to be, you know, only filmed the day before or on the day, because otherwise they're not current. And that's sort of what you watch whip and waffles for, as well as somebody to diamond paint with you. It's for the fact that it's current. So I might try and fit in some, I say I've not fully decided yet, um, but the whip and waffles are enjoyed and I can see that they're enjoyed. So if I continue to do my heaven and earth design, or maybe I switch it up and do my other one for the month of September, maybe I will do you know, one whip and waffle on whatever painting I've got and another whip and waffle on my heaven and earth design maybe and try and fit in a couple that way um, but keep it varied because I am missing working on my other paintings with waffles as well but it is doing absolutely great at getting my heaven and earth designed on this August. And I do feel that it needed that push. 
so I might keep it up in September but I might just trim down the whip and waffles that are about heaven and earth design and um, mix up the two I am sure you guys will find out come September um, but it I know that you all like whip and waffles, so I will try and, even if it's not going to be every week, that there will be two, I will try and throw more in. If I'm, you know, if I've got the time to do a longer video, and yeah, I'll just throw in an extra whip and waffle, because why not? Why not indeed? Um, it might be nice to throw in extra whip and waffles when I'm near the end of a canvas as well so that you guys get to see it being finished off maybe uh, I guess that will depend on how much I have left to do at the time but yeah I'm all for throwing in some more whip and waffles I just need to see how it works when my dog sitters are back at school because it's trickier. Uh, Glory Accounts, she says she also diamond paints with my videos in the background. She says, oh, we got a Y. She says she loves listening to my voice. She says she would thought she would try a square diamond painting again. Um, was going so-so, she says, but she got a colour that all of the diamonds had the little divots it divots on the back uh, and it started to pop she said so it looked looked at the rest and they're over 70% bad uh, so she gave up she said no more squares for me I think squares can put a lot of people off especially if they have a bad one um, you know especially if they have a bad square diamond painting it can definitely turn people off and I completely get why um, I think if you've not done a square before and you want to try a square, try a good quality one. Don't get a cheap one thinking I'll just give it a go with this because it's not cost a lot. Because it can turn you off if you end up with ones that are popping. Say so I do have the odd bit that pops on this. It does settle down eventually, um, but it is purely because of the diamonds that I'm using. I've obviously not paid enough attention to bigger and smaller ones and it always happens on the blocky ones, the blocky sections. <laughs> I've just got very snug fitting diamonds. Uh, she also says don't count the minutes, make the minutes count. Yes. Uh, she also says she does counted cross stitch on plastic, not cloth. Uh, she says to, to her it's easier. Yeah, it can definitely keep its shape better on plastic. Um, she says she's done an 18 by 24 inch one of uh, the three dream catchers. She says with the saying, follow your dreams uh, for they are the hope of the future. Very nice. There is some really good phrases out there, isn't there? Um, oh, I've got a few that have commented and left emojis and have obviously missed them because I am behind with YouTube comments at the moment. It's on my to-do list. I have a brain dump to-do list that is very, very long. Um, Kerry says she thinks she was lucky. She said she ordered her stickers before the printers went kaput. Yeah, it was either before they went kaput or we had the, the stock on the shelf. Um, you know, we do try to have stock on the shelf of stickers. At the moment, it is very, very bare. Um, bare to say the least. Um, but I don't want to spend a day, a full day printing to stock up the shelves. Um, when I have so many other things that I want to finish up and prepare the likes of Advent 
and things coming in all the time. So what I'm doing at the moment is when they're ordered, I'm printing a few more. So I'm filling up the shelf just slowly. Um, so yeah, you either got stickers that were already on the shelf or, um, or it was before they went kaput. I'm not sure which. I'm not sure which. Um, Jess Diamond Paint says you can do it by the end of the month, Rebecca. Thank you. Um, Kerry Gold, she says, use the black and white chart, she said, would look more like a mystery print, she would think. Yes, there is an element when you're working with the black and white of it, of it very much being like a mystery painting would. Uh, though, of course, you've picked the chart, you've picked the painting, so you do know what it is. But I do like the way it comes together on a black and white chart. Uh, OK, let's try putting that in the right place. Um, I like the way, you know, that the colours start to bring the painting to life, that you don't get as much um, with others. I mean, with this, it's covered up the rest of it. So the one that I've got that's got a clear cover, that might feel like it's coming to life a bit more. Um, Cross Stitch and Tat said, yes, she said it is kind of like that. Uh, she said the hubby got, her, got one for her, uh, but she actually refused to go and look at the website. Um, at, the, at what he'd purchased for her so that she could treat it as a mystery she says though if you do order from them you'll know what it is uh, she got her friend to look up hers and promised her that she would like it um yeah that's amazing so Kerry Gold says she wants to do one to use all her spares uh, she says, does it still come with the amount that you need if it's listed on a printed canvas? Yes, it does. Um, it comes with all the details of what you need. What you can also do is if you found a printed canvas on the Heaven and Earth Design site that you like, if you search for the exact same name, um, you will find the cross stitch chart that is the same as the printed canvas. So make sure, you know, that you, if you've got one with max colours, that you're finding the chart with max colours. Those things need to match. Um, and size can help you to reference and confirm that they are going to match. But if they do, you can then have a look at that floss chart. And it very, very often, I've not seen one that isn't yet. They are the same. So basically what they are doing is they are taking their chart and putting it onto a canvas. So you can actually prep ahead a little bit and start getting your diamonds together um, because you can use that cross stitch chart as reference. But it does come with the details. So if you prefer to wait for your chart to arrive, the, your canvas to arrive, sorry, then by all means you can do that and then check it from there. But we have um, created stickers for some people who have purchased the charts um, and they are exactly the same. So that's how we've been able to get hold of the symbols and stuff to transfer them to stickers. Um, Jackie said, thank you for the two shout outs, Rebecca. She said, love and hugs. More than welcome, Jackie. Thank you ever so much for your support, as well as everybody else. The support from you guys is amazing and it is what makes what makes it so enjoyable. Continuing to do YouTube and the shop and even working till 8 o'clock didn't feel like I was working till 8 o'clock. I know I wouldn't have done it in my old day job, that's for sure. <laughs> I feel the impact when it was close to home time. Never mind, um, working over. Uh, Melissa, she says, hi Rebecca. She said she ordered the release paper or the cover paper she said from me. Uh, she says, and she loves it. She says it is just her size. 
she says, plus she got the stickers. Um, she says she was wondering if we can provide coloured release paper. Um, she said, or put designs on them. She says, so that when we're doing mystery paintings, uh, we can use them. She said, that would be so great. Uh, she says thank you. She says she's enjoying my heaven and earth design in August. Uh, she says looking forward to whenever you post it. Um, that's something we can have a look into with our supplier. The only thing with putting a design on cover paper is it doesn't tend to, if you have a design then that side doesn't become release paper. So that side would then have to not be put face down onto the canvas just because of the way it prints. So I'm not sure whether having a design on it outweighs the fact that you can put it down whichever way and you don't end up sticking it to your diamond painting. Um, but we'll definitely have a look into whether that is cost effective or not. Um, Lady Dax, she says it would be a while before she can even think about heaven and earth design. She said she has just got another two customs, 40 by 50s to do. Um, but she likes the idea of pattern maker, she says, to make her own paintings. Yeah, I mean, it, it's got to be something similar to that that they're using to make custom diamond paintings anyway. Um, it would be very interesting to see if one of the, you know, cross-stitch programs that you can get um, can do people's faces and stuff well. Because that would be the big question. Can it do faces and people? Because that's where customs can very much vary from company to company is how they look uh, it is 3712 I knew it was at the end of, of one of the cases um, yeah it would be very interesting to know if that cross stitch pattern can do people's faces well because there are some that can and some that can't um, as we know from the custom comparisons, some of them were great. Um, I mean, they all turned out fair, but some of them weren't wow. Not in my opinion, anyway. Okay, those are done. I've got a wonky square that I've just put down, but the next one's on nudge it into the right place. Um, Nancy, she says, woohoo. Uh, we will be able to get it from you. She says, awesome. She says, this Nancy, I like that, this Nancy is saving her drills for a heaven and earth design. So I've not put you off the fact that it's taken me a couple of years to get to this point. Maybe it's made you all realise to go smaller. Maybe, but um, at least it's, it's not put everybody off. Uh, it isn't for everybody, but um, yeah, those that want that that different type of challenge, at least you've got that option. Uh, and I've not completely put you off it. So I do really enjoy doing it. I quite enjoy my little bit of quiet time doing this in the morning. And seeing it progress is, is the spur on time as well. The fact that it is coming to life bit by bit and square by square is so much fun. But, yeah. Well, uh, cross stitch and tat, she says, awful, uh, awesome. Not awful. Awesome waffle today. <laughs> Oopsie. There's nothing like a reading blunder. Um, she says, craft room updates. Uh, she has done three resets, she said, in her craft room. 
sometimes it can take a bit to find the perfect um, sweet spot for everything. Um, I know that organisation is never done. Um, but once you find a system that works for you, then keep it. Keep it and move on um, until it ever gets to the point that it doesn't work for you. Um, she says she's given away all of several crafts, she says, and part of another. Um, so I'm guessing that's crafts that you have decided aren't for you or you don't get enough enjoyment out of. Um, which is fair enough, you know, I, I still have some of my scrapbooking supplies, but I have given away quite a lot um, because I've realised that at the minute I'm just not doing it. I've kept hold of a few things that are actually useful just in general day to day, um, you know, tools and things but I have let papers and things go because if I do scrapbooking again, which I may well do, I'm going to want, you know, whatever the newer stuff is probably over the old supplies. So it gives me an excuse to buy a new collection and go from there. That, that was my reasoning anyway. Um, she says she's still not finished. She says she, ha however, she says she has overdone it uh, and made her legs start giving out. So today she is totally working on her diamond art club that she's going uh, that's going in her craft room. So she's told hubby that she's still working on the craft room because she's doing her diamond art club to go on the wall in her craft room. I like your style. Um, she says she did try out the pattern maker. She says to make some alterations to an ever moment painting in honor of their late pup Ruka or Ruka. Um, she says it's the colorful hand print with the paw print in the palm that says never forgotten. Yes, I remember that painting. I reckon, I, excuse me, I've got the hiccups. Um, I recognize that painting. Um, she says, in the space between the thumb and the first finger, uh, she designed the words, love you, Ruka, with glow in the dark around the words um, and change it, changes in the paw print, she said, to make it glow. Uh, she says she's finished it and it's awesome. Oh, good. She says, now that she knows that pattern make pattern maker works uh, she's working on one of her 22 year old peach front contour named daffy she says thank you for keeping me company well you've been a busy busy bee with reorganizing your craft room that many times you know or at least making the space work for you better that many times sorry my glue ducts just decided to have a sticky moment but it is getting warm in here um and dealing with pattern keeper projects and doing your time in art club yeah i think you need a few days sat down by the sounds of it you've done quite a bit uh, had i done that one no Sometimes I don't know which brain, my, which way my brain decides to follow this pattern. Definitely goes a few different ways sometimes. Um, glad I could keep you company throughout it all, but slow and steady can also win the race with your craft room. Um, zoning, I think, can be very, very good for a craft room, especially if you do multiple crafts or if there's certain steps to crafts to try and zone areas according to them and live with them in those zones and check that those zones work and then move you know to optimum organization within those sections depending on how you work because optimum organization is not the same for everybody 
It really does depend how you work. There are a few things that I am like, yeah, that is exactly right. That does not need changing. And then there are other things that I'm like, hmm, can I make this better? Can I make this easier? You know, what can I do to make this tick all the boxes? And yeah, there's still a few spaces in here um, after our reorganisation, albeit a very small craft room. There are still a couple of things that it's like, hmm, that could be slightly better. I'm just not sure how. I'm not sure how at this moment, but I'm sure I will find out eventually. Uh, Anna, she says she definitely thinks I'll have 50% finished by the end of August. Well, I'm still holding out hope. Um, catching up from the printers has definitely taken um, or made this take a hit, that's for sure. Um, it's made a few things take a hit. My nails are shot and I just haven't had the chance um, to get them sorted. But hey, I will get there eventually. Uh, she says that's 18 sections in 14 days. She says should be no problem for you. Yeah, and normally I would have filmed... So, for example, I would have filmed this Whip and Waffle last night. Um, I just ended up being distracted with other things, which would have meant I would have done another section today, as I am filming this. I would have still done my section. So, in effect, I would have got two. So, I did this section yesterday morning. I would have done a Whip and Chat and done this section last night. And then I would have still done another one this morning. Um, but yeah, there's a few things as well. I did Sunday section, but I didn't do an extra one for the whip and chats. So I've not done my extra little sections that I've been squeezing in here and there. So hopefully I will, you know, try and get a couple of other days where I do two sections. Maybe start the day off and go, do you know what, I'll squeeze in another one today. Especially if it ends up being more of this cabin thing, because it uses, um, like this is very, very confetti today. Um, there are some colours that there's a lot of, but it's extremely confetti. Whereas the other day, this section is pretty much all black. So I was able to place loads of diamonds in less time. Um so maybe if I, because I do always have a look at tomorrow's section, I line up my tablet ready for tomorrow's section before I close it down. So maybe if I see some sections that look very blocky and a lot easier, I'll try and squeeze them in and get extras. I'm hoping. Uh, a lot depends on 3712. I think I'm going to do another row, but I don't know whether I'll do a row after that because, say, it can get very, 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 very bitty. Um, B, she says, if she was to do a heaven and earth design, and the if is in capitals, um, she said she would pick a small size. Wise choice. That is what I would suggest if you are going to do a heaven and earth designs. They do some mini ones. Um... I think they're called mini. Uh, they definitely do some other smaller ones that that are like, a, I think they're like a section of another design. Um, but yeah, I would definitely give it a go with a smaller one. Um, because as, as much as I enjoy doing this process, it has been long. It has been a long process and I would have liked you know, to have finished it by now. And that's my own fault for buying, getting one that's two and a half metres long. I wanted the big challenge and I wanted one that wasn't too wide because I fit it on my desk. But I think with 239 colours, it's just, it's just, you know, it's a lot of cases to deal with is what it is. 
Uh, she said she'd pick a small size, example, bookmark size and minimum colour, uh, which, yeah, I mean, the cases are a problem for this one. The, you know, the fact that it is four cases worth. Um, I picked max colour so that I wouldn't have, you know, as much trouble sourcing the diamonds, figuring if it's more colours, I'm more likely to be able to find them. But yeah it doesn't it doesn't always work out because there are some colors that i have absolutely loads of hence the black and white painting was to use up some of some of the 310 and stuff that i have because i have loads of that um she says minimum color painting and go from there she says but at the minute she's not ready to take the plunge that is perfectly fine too it is, it can be one of those projects that sit in the back of your mind on the back burner as a possible in the future. If you, you know, if it does spark your fancy. Have I got them all? Yeah. Uh, she says she's enjoying watching the progress on my canvas more, which is definitely better since I've been doing it more regularly. Um, it definitely works better. Uh, she says, P.S. She says, loved the sneak peek of the cover minder trash drill tray. She says she's so excited. Yes, we are getting there with that. Um, we think that we may have the design finalised. We are just working on the adhesive for the magnets. Um, magnets can be harmful if swallowed and uh, we found an absolutely awesome adhesive however it's black um, so we are in the process of trying another one that is clear because we don't want the diamonds that the magnets coming loose um, and be posing any sort of risk so yeah it's going to take us a while to sort of confirm that and test that and then it will take us a while to of course print 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 is always the thing that definitely takes a while right why oh i was like why does that have a gap above it when it shouldn't have a gap above it and it's because it's stuck to my glue dot i put a diamond down and managed to pick a diamond up you can tell it's oh there's another one over there you can tell it's getting warm in here because my glue dot is starting to play up one over there as well but i'm getting there nearly at the last case quick battery change um what do i want next 3371 i did actually have to refill this the other day I did have the diamonds in my Heaven and Earth design box because this is one that needs quite a few thousand. I still need 7,000 of them on this painting. So I did have this one in my need to save and I have quite a few bags of them. So I was able to fill up my tub, which is awesome because yeah it just meant that I didn't end if I'd have ended up running out of a second colour and having two gaps then I would definitely not continue after this row I would stop on this row and move to my other painting um, and just have to wait for the excitement of running out of other or finishing other colours uh, Catherine says she has received her canvas and drills for her first cross stitch conversion. Um, she says she really wants to try it to see if she enjoys it. Um, she loves the patterns I'm working on. Pattern I'm working on. She says maybe one day she will buy it. I guess that will all depend on how much you do enjoy. Um, doing it 
it's 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 nice it's different I just wouldn't make it your only cross stitch your only diamond pane that you're working on um, by all means keep doing loads if you're loving it but I do think switching between the two is good oh quite a lot of 3712 needed on that one but we're going to move on um, Fee, she says, thank you for showing the difference of the canvas uh, and the advice. She says she's thinking she will get the black and white. Oh, I was what well, I thought that was a diamond. I need to put a space in and that's actually a space from this other colour. So this is where sometimes it throws me for six is I don't want to be putting diamonds down in the wrong section. So I'm just going to keep my finger there while I'm working so close to the edge to make sure that I'm getting the right gaps. Especially when I'm working on this. These pale pinks, they definitely seem to be scattered about a lot, which is what makes the blossom, of course. But they're definitely more of a scattered colour. They end up all over the show. Um, she says she's thinking she'll get black and white. She is doing a Diamond Art Club mystery kit, which is black and white. So she knows she can do the canvas okay. She knows working on the black and white works. Uh, she says it has 87 colours in the Heaven and Earth design that she's wanting. Uh, she said it's a Halloween uh, light kit. She says, which she's never been into celebrating Halloween. Uh, she says, but it's so like Salem from Sabrina the Teenage Witch. That brings back memories. Um, she says she don't think it's wise for her to buy it before she finishes her mystery. Um, as the mystery kit that she's doing is very heavy confetti. Uh, so progress is slow with lots of breaks. Uh, she says so she knows if she had the heaven and earth design kit arrive she would want to do that instead <laughs> maybe you need to let yourself have a small um hang on which one have i just done so i've just done that that's the one i need to do um yeah maybe you need to allow yourself to have a small maybe 30 by 40 that's a bit more blocky uh, so it's not going to take too much of your time away from the other one or maybe a 30 by 30. Have a look if you've got one that's got um, a solid background type colour and maybe see if you can do that one in between because it would be a shame not to enjoy the Diamond Art Club mystery one, um, especially with the prices of them. It would be a shame not to enjoy it. Um but I can see why you need a break from the confetti because confetti can get a bit much um, which is why this heaven and earth design can sometimes get a bit much um, it was a little breath of fresh air when I did my other heaven and earth design while waiting um, for diamonds to arrive that was that were being sent to me so I did get in one section of my other heaven and earth design and that was actually a breeze because there's only like 15 colours in that one. I really felt like I progressed on it, which is why I'm thinking I might do that one next month and actually allow myself and maybe alternate between them. I don't know. Um, she says currently she is on the last section of the wave canvas that she started in June whip and waffle uh, she says she's just done a check of her log book and sadly she doesn't have any 3712 well thank you so much for checking I do appreciate everybody that has checked to see if they've got it it may just be something I have to order say I've not had any more since I started doing this painting so it may well be a colour that is not widely used in diamond painting 
Um, I've definitely had some. I don't know if they were ones that were given to me um, or ones that I had from the beginning. I'm not sure. Uh, it, could, it could have been either way because I was sent loads and loads of diamonds by people when I first started this project. Um, I actually had quite a few colours that I'd run out of in the first instance and that's why I don't want to go too far ahead with not having colours because I've done that before and filling in the gaps was not fun. It was It was a bit of a crazy process to try and make sure because I had two or three that were missing so um, but yeah thanks for checking uh, Jeanette she says hi Rebecca she says now she has her Christmas present all figured out <laughs> she says she just has to wait patiently for us to show it her um, and purchase it when it's available oh, thank you for your support I'm hoping you will all really really like um what we have planned um yeah once once i've got a little bit more caught up and organized um which hopefully won't be too long um i do find this having you know the quick blitz of all the bits around in the house that you know maybe aren't where they should be um or even just corralling all the deliveries that have come in today and finding a home for them clears my brain so much. Um, even though there's still things that need doing, it clears my brain to corral them into one place and make sure they're written on my list and things. So hopefully as soon as I've sort of got on top of everything, um, we'll be able to start letting you guys know details so that you can make plans because I do appreciate that you know around Christmas and things for Christmas time the more advanced notice that you've got the better and you can decide if it's right for you and if it's not right for you you can look at other alternatives and all that sort of stuff um, but to do the December advent you don't have to buy the canvas that we're doing um it is the one that i'll be doing but you don't have to buy it to join in um however i think it's an amazing canvas and i can't wait to do it but that's just me <laughs> um yeah jeanette she says for those in the states she says she has emailed heaven and earth uh, they offer the poured blue blank canvas. She said she knew that she wouldn't afford... Hang on, sorry, I'm finding my colour. Uh, she wouldn't afford the price. Um, she says, but why not? She asked um, for a 70 height and 183 length centimetres in length. She said she couldn't believe the price. Um, she says she asked for the same thing on AliExpress um, and it came back with $50 but free shipping. She says they only have double-sided tape. Heaven and Earth Design quoted a price of $54 but she has to pay shipping. She says she says good price for poured glue for that price she says she bought it yesterday and it's been mailed today she says um here we go another big canvas i do love a big canvas i really do i think they're great fun to do if you do others in with it um i know i do i do go through phases um, and sometimes you will find me getting lots and lots of small canvases done. But at the moment, I'm loving the big ones. I really, really am enjoying doing the large canvas over the small ones. I've not actually started the turtle that I kitted up yet. I know I need to because I'm pretty sure I put in my logbook that I was starting it in August. 
I was like, I'm going to put in my logbook that I started this turtle painting in August because I know I'll start it. Watch me. End of August, I'll be putting diamonds on that turtle just so I don't have to change my logbook. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I'm really into big canvases at the moment. And as I say, it, it does flit about, it does change, but big ones are ticking the boxes for me at the moment. And it will probably change and I will probably have a batch of doing smaller ones. And have I put something down in the wrong place here? Yes, I have. Okay, so that one needs to go there. I've actually put both of these diamonds in the wrong place. So I need this one up here and this one up here. Come on. There we go. Okay. At least I figured out what it was. That could have been that could have been a lot harder. <laughs> Luckily it was a row of three and a row of four it should have been, and I ended up with a row of three and a row of two and stuff. Yeah. Um okay. Oh, we do have a number three. Only 39 of these needed, 38 we're going down to. I imagine this is one that is scattered throughout the blossom. Still don't know where those zeds are. Double check these blues and things. I think, I think it was definitely some blues. I'm not sure which blues it was um, that I should hopefully get rid of when I get down here. Um, Mops the Tops, she says, after listening to you about the mathematics of a heaven and earth design, uh, she said she's been really put off doing one. Um, she says that she doesn't think that they make these paintings small enough for her to understand. Um, she'll stay with the ordinary ones. I mean, the maths with this painting is has been a personal preference. It doesn't stop you from doing it. Um, you know, the only maths that you need for the heaven and earth design is to establish the size of the canvas, which you can actually, there are some sites that will provide you with the diamonds and the canvas and they will tell you which chart it's for so they've actually done the work for you so you can avoid the maths altogether and if you buy a chart direct from heaven and earth design of course if you buy the canvas direct from them you get to avoid the chart counting and all the rest of it as well so there are definitely ways to avoid it um, the maths on the percentage uh, of how you know how completed a section will be I've never worked that out before in the whole two years that I've done it um, I have only worked out it since I've been doing it once per day and that is so that I knew how much I was getting done each day and I only did that because I posted in the Facebook group each day and each percentage so I was able to figure out how much I'd done um, so yeah don't let the maths turn you off um, maybe look for a smaller one or maybe if you do want to do one I'd suggest the printed canvas and then you don't have to do any maths at all I mean this does half the maths for me oh look I hit 46 percent dead on 46% bob on at the moment. So we get in there. Okay, this is where I need to make sure that I'm in the right section. Because it's getting very, very bitty with the little holes and gaps. And I don't want to end up putting it 
putting a diamond in the wrong place. This is actually probably where it gets more complicated than at the beginning, is when you start ending up with loads of gaps and making sure you get the right gap according to what gaps are surrounding it. Okay. Um, Mary James, she says she thinks uh, that it also has something to do with all the pages that the designs have. She says you just go in across instead of pages order. She says that may affect it as well. Yes, I am going just across. I have turned off. So in Pattern Keeper, you can turn off um, for it to let you know what page you're on. So it can tell you what page you're on if you want. You can have a thicker line that is each page divide. I have told it to turn those off because they were just confusing me. Um, if it had a line part way down here, it was confusing me as to where I was actually supposed to be putting a diamond um, and whether it was my 10 grid line or not. Um, but yeah, it's the, the actual reason the percentage is not rounded is due to the bottom. I'm actually doing 0 0.4002 or something percent per, per six grid that I do. Um, so it will even out at the end because there is a row missing at the end. When I get to the end of it, it won't be a full square across the bottom. But it's all good. At least I know why. It saved me re-importing the chart, thinking it was the chart's fault. I didn't even think about the fact that it wouldn't be a round number, which is daft, really. But it just doesn't have enough decimal places on here for me to know. Uh, top one. And then this three. See, this is really where I need to concentrate more. Um, handcrafted by Helen she says she does hope that the Manhui Rachel store has improved their canvases for spacing um, she says since Megan's Tinkerbell she says as that is where she's just ordered her poured glue blank canvas for her heaven and earth design from um, they have definitely improved them I have done a custom comparison and that included in fact two uh, canvases I did from the Manhui Rachel store pretty sure it was two um, one was the 40 by 50 size and one was a 30 by 40 size and I never had any problems with with either of them and they were ordered at different times because I did choose I did choose to order 40 by 50s and then any company that didn't send me a mock-up before I ordered it, I ordered the smallest size they did to see if the smallest size that they did still looked good or whether they should have sent me a mock-up because it actually looked awful. Uh, they both turned out good though. So yeah, I have done two since from Manhui Rachel and they have both been fine so I think it was just that one and um, Megan's also while it was from there was double-sided tape they now do poured glue so I think you'll be completely fine okay three white and I'm done diddly done the last comment is quite a long one so I am going to save it for the next video because I have a to-do list that needs doing and it could lead me to waffle but I want to get the rest of the house straightened up for my brother arriving of course I managed to get glue dot on the white drill not on any other so I am now at 46.03 percent I have managed to do 586 stitches or diamonds but
but that is because I am missing some over here in the um, blooms. So let's scoot over. So this is where I scoot all the way over. If you can see, this is my halfway point down here. But if you actually look here at this first section, so I think it's, it's around here that I run out of a couple of colours. Um, this has only got, well, it's got th four prominent colours in these two sections with only a little bit of confetti otherwise. And then here, again, some of them are transferred over. It's got another prominent colour and some black. So we're definitely bringing in a little bit more blockiness. The next pattern's got quite a lot of black, so it is sort of the rest of this tree trunk thing. Then I've got again quite a bit more concentrated on the same sort of symbols. This one gets a little bit more confetti. This half is very concentrated, this part isn't. And then this last section here is a little bit more confetti. So what I might try and do, if I have the time, depending on if my brother's here or not tomorrow, um, I might try and do two sections when I do this one, because they're both very blocky. So it won't take me as long to do a section. Um, and yeah, try and get through this last row. But I say, I may end up pausing it and going to my other one, but. Who knows? Stay tuned for the next whipping chat to find out. But there is my section for today. I finished another strip considering we were up here. We were up here at the beginning of August because I remember doing this. So making very nice progress on my Heaven and Earth design. Thank you all so much for joining me um, and for your patience while my videos are a bit sporadic. Um, but yeah, my brother visiting needs to be my priority, um, even though he's not here every day. Of course, he's got loads of friends to see and stuff. Um, but yeah, spending time, spending time with them and their boys. I'm pretty sure I'm babysitting one day as well. So um, <laughs> I'm going to be keeping myself busy over the next few days. So videos might be a bit sporadic. Orders and stuff are still my other priority, so they will all still get sent out. But thank you all so much for joining me for this section of my Heaven and Earth design. If you are in the UK and have any 3712, please do bomb me a little message. Um, yeah, I'll of course cover any postage or anything like that. I'm happy to cover that um, or I might need to go shopping. But I will speak to you all again soon.